The McAuliffe Leanda number two here in our Sunday Smoke Signal, the Cigar Lab, brings to you uh, a great cigar from the McAuliffe factory. The uh, Gomez Sanchez family created the McAuliffe cigar way back in 1934. And they have a uh, tasting passport. This is the number four cigar in the rotation of the, the uh, 16 cigars in the uh, McAuliffe Passport program. Uh, I've enjoyed the first three tremendously. And it's time to take a look at the number four, the Leonda number two. Okay, so with no uh, further ado, let's get it right into it. We like to start our uh, cigar reviews with a uh, talk about the construction and the appearance. So first of all, the appearance. Chocolatey, milk chocolatey brown wrapper. And it's actually an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. The Habana wrapper is uh, uh, hard to find. It's uh, not used a whole lot because it's uh, difficult to find and uh, it's not the easiest cigar to uh, use, wrap or tobacco to use, but it's a great tasting tobacco. And if you look at the, uh, the cigar, the bands uh, feature the McAuliffe name here at the top. The two hands, if you can see there, uh, clasping onto each other, the two families, the Gomez and Sanchez families coming together to make McAuliffe cigars. And uh, here, a second band in the middle, and then the third band, uh, one showing the uh, Leanda number two. So a great looking cigar. See the shape of the cigars, not uh, a typical uh, shape. Figurado cigar, okay, so already passes the first test of the construction and appearance. So we need to take this top band off before we smoke, of course. And I'm gonna give it a cut. And then we're gonna talk about the burn and the draw. I like to take a uh, pre-light um, little smell, sniff at the end there to uh, see what the uh, palate can expect. And I also like to take a pre-light draw, add this to the tasting preview, and you can tell already this is going to be a nice draw. I like my draws uh, almost like you're uh, sucking through a straw with uh, nothing in it or just a, a very uh, light drink. It doesn't, shouldn't take much effort to uh, get the air to come through the cigar. So the draw is just uh, right on as far as, uh, or spot on as I like it. We need to take a look at the burn. The uh, pre-light uh, draw brings brings to note uh, some nuttiness. And uh, I mentioned in my written review, a lot of uh, manufacturers will talk about uh, how their cigars are rolled in a Cuban manner and you're gonna get a Cuban-esque taste. McCulloff delivers on this one in the classic Cubans. Sometimes the uh, more recent Cubans aren't as, uh, maybe as high, high up a standard, but this is a, a Cuban-esque cigar. Let's take out the, uh, check out the, the burn. We have to toast it up. A little wind keeping me from getting a, a full toast. And We've got it lit up, and I really enjoy the uh, first draw of the cigar. The uh, see what is, how it's going to come in. If it's going to come in strong, smooth, getting the uh, some nuttiness, but I'm also getting like some baking spices mixed in with some cinnamon, some allspice. The pepper, it's a black pepper type of uh, taste to it. But we're talking more about the the burn and the draw right now. If you get a good light, you're more likely to get a, a good burn. If the cigar's, cigar's well constructed, you're also going to get a good burn. The burn is important because uh, without a good burn, you're not going to get the desired or um, designed flavors and nuances of the cigar. Okay, so. Past the first two tests, the hurdles, the construction and appearance, the burn on the draw, let's move on to the flavor and the body. This is more of a medium to full-bodied cigar. The uh, 
Smoke's gonna feel a little thicker in your mouth, gonna taste a little stronger. And uh, just had a, uh, a nice meal with some steak and some caprese, caprese salad. So it's a good after meal smoke. And I'm gonna turn you around here. I'm gonna show you uh, what I'm pairing with this. Some screwball peanut butter whiskey. Set you back down so I'm not giving you seasickness as we uh, enjoy our cigar. And um, so that it's a more of a full flavored and full bodied cigar with the flavors. Definitely some nuttiness and some earth, earthiness. And I, I'm tasting not only some black pepper, but some other spices like an allspice and uh, almost like a cinnamon to it. And uh, sometimes you can even get a smell from the smoke coming out. And again, I'm get, getting some of the more of the baking spices there. So if you like the, a nutty uh, cigar with some uh, pleasant baking spices, it's uh, gonna hit hit this hit the spot there with all together the, uh, we need to talk about the tobaccos that put together are put together to make this cigar. Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. The binder is Nicaraguan. And then you also have some Nicaraguan uh, fillers also with some Dominican and Honduras. So it's it's got a full flavor profile and it's going to give you uh, uh, some full flavor. But some full flavor cigars hit you too strong. You only get one note. If it's you want some complexity that and it's some blended, those flavors blended together and we'll call off did the job there. Need to let that uh, draw give you a little bit of a what they call a finish when you're drinking something, but you want to not puff too quickly to get the cigar burning too hot, but you also want to not puff too quickly so you can actually enjoy the finish of the, uh, the tobacco. Another thing you can do to maybe take your cigar experience up a notch is to enjoy what's called a retro hail. You bring this, you don't inhale, but you bring the uh, smoke up through your nasal passages and bring it out through your nose, and you activate a little bit more flavor profile when you retro hail. Some people also like to consider chewing the smoke a little bit to get some more flavor going. So we've put, uh, overcome the first three hurdles easily and uh, still in a top of the line cigar range. And now we need to talk about, we're gonna talk more about the quality and the value. This McAuliffe line is not in the, the low range as far as the low budget cigar. It's mid to high range. You're going to spend anywhere from 8 to $15 on McCullough cigars. The cigar we're actually talking about today is about a $12 cigar. And when I look at value, I like to think, does it match or measure up well with other cigars in that price range? Maybe does it exceed the, the value of uh, the cigars in that price range? And this cigar, the McCullough Land at number two, you go to that ten to twelve dollar price range, it's right there. Okay, um, you don't have to feel like you're overspending on this cigar. You're gonna get what you pay for, and anyone wants to get what they pay for. So from there, you're gonna get in a little bit more cinnamon in some of those draws. From there, you want to ask yourself: Would you purchase this cigar again at that price? I would. Would I? Uh, purchase multiple cigars uh, to keep in my humidor, again, check that box. Um, very few cigars do I uh, actually purchase a full box. I don't have a, I have two humidors, but I like to keep about 75 cigars in each humidor. So if you buy a box of 20, you're limiting just how, what kind of uh, variety of cigars you can keep in a humidor. But uh, looking to buy a box of cigars in that price range, it's definitely box worthy, okay? Again, this is the fourth cigar 
in the McAuliffe tasting passport package. I'm going to show you that uh, what that looks like. Here's actually the actual page, and it's going to tell you in that uh, that it's a medium to full. It tells you the format of the cigar. This is actually five and a half by fifty-two figurato. Some flavors that they can expect. Uh, they tell you to expect the nutty nut and earthiness with some black pepper notes. They tell you the wrapper, the binder, the filler. Then from there, you want to keep track of the date you smoked it, the location. If there's a special occasion, then you want to add your, your notes to that cigar to uh, come back to. And part of this program is you complete the passport, you send it in, and you uh, are eligible for a lot of great surprises. And uh, not surprises, but prizes and swag. Not just one time, but ongoing throughout the next year. So if you haven't already, you want to try to get on board with the McAuliffe Passport, the tasting program, the tasting passport. It's free. You just have to go online and uh, join, and they'll send you a, a passport. One thing I really like about the McAuliffe program is they, they uh, really recommend and almost demand that you buy their cigars from their brick-and-mortar stores to try to uh, support their brick-and-mortar stores. And without brick and mortars, you, you wouldn't have uh, a lot of places you wouldn't be able to find a place to smoke. I'm in Indiana, Pennsylvania now today. It's a great day to be smoking outside. But you move into late fall and even into early spring, a big chunk of the year where it's difficult to get outside and smoke a cigar. So you really need those cigar lounges. So support your brick and mortar stores. And it's reaching about the eight minute mark. I like to uh, keep my uh, reviews, video reviews to around that mark because uh, you know I, I rarely will pay attention for uh, that long to talk about a cigar but here it is it's part of the McAuliffe tasting passport program the McAuliffe Leanda number two it's a great stick check it out and remember we're the cigar lab the blog is the cigar lab.net you can find us on Facebook and we have a presence on Instagram and Twitter and so check us out in a variety of ways also a YouTube channel so we're going to sign off. Great Sunday afternoon, the Sunday Smoke Signal featuring the McAuliffe Leander number two. Thanks for joining. Stay smoky, friends.